are back in the Stone Creek Kitchen with Duck and Decanter's Pierce Metler, and we are helping you entertain with some really unique cocktails. Now, Duck and Decanter have been in the Valley for over 40 years, and you're a fourth generation. Yes. So, what's it like working with your family? Because you said there's a little bit of family at every location. We are respectful about all three locations, our family owned and operated, and I personally work downtown. Uh, over half the staff is family, and it's great. Like cousins, brothers? I work with my cousin, two aunts, and my uncle. And we couldn't get along better. It's just like a family reunion every single day. Wow, because so some great. people can barely handle like one meal with their family. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know what it is, but we've really figured it out. So. Well, you figured it out in your food, too, yes, and yes. your drinks. So let's go there. Okay, so you said that uh, sort of mixing drinks and, and wine has been around for a long time. A long time. Yeah, we've been around and uh, I've been purveyors of specialty beers and wines in the Valley for. 40 years, but the actual recipes have been around for much longer, more like thousands of years. We're talking eight or nine thousand years ago when uh, wine and beer was first discovered or developed, and it was from um, yeast and such sitting around, and someone was crazy enough to drink it, right. and they figured out that they have a little fun after right, that. Right, so, exactly. It was fun juice. Yeah, so what they did was they uh, got their normal things like juices and added the wine to it or the beer we to it. We call that a spritzer, don't we? Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Well, show me what we're going to make right now because sure. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, first, we're going to start with our wine cocktails. And we've got a white and a red. This is a Chardonnay and a Merlot blend. Should I pour the red in? Sure. We're going to do about uh, a little less than halfway. And these are great summer drinks. It's going to be, um, you know, something that you can drink out in the heat and not be too weighed down by it you know, after a few glasses. So we're mixing it with Orangina, which is a great uh, spritzy, is sparkling, it like sparkling juice. orange juice. It is, and it's mixed with mandarin, grapefruit, lime. It's got a great uh, oh, citrus okay. combo in there. Very refreshing, I would think. Very, very. And so we're going to pour that in as well. And as I said, you want to do these about half and half. And uh, this is going to be coming out similar to, which a lot of people are familiar with, sangria. Yeah, that's. And so when the Romans invaded Spain, they brought their winemaking culture with them. And part of what the Spanish culture was very familiar with was uh, their local fruit juices and such. So the uh, Spaniards said, you know, we're going to bring wine. And they said, well, we've got our juice. So the next thing you know, they mix it together. And the uh, grapes. Whole town is happy. Yeah, the grapes <laughs> that they were using were mostly of the red variety. So when they'd mix these fruits and wine, it'd come out kind of the color of blood. And in uh, the Castilian Spanish, that's la sangre, which now we How call. How do you know all this, sangria. by the way? Did you learn this just for this? Uh, it's I've got a lot up here. I'm okay. an elephant, so <laughs> it's kind of pulled the memory bank apart. I mean, I first at first I thought, okay, he's gonna throw me a couple things, but you just keep going. <laughs> no, I love it. Lots of info. So we're gonna get an orange and a lime. And this is uh, not just garnish, but it's going to really enhance it, get some nice pulp going in there as well. So are you guys open um, on Memorial Day or do you close Memorial well, we Day? We are open at our Camelback location on Memorial Day. Okay. And we're going to have some live music down there, and we're also having uh, happy hour all day long. Okay. Or from 11 and to close. What do you call these? Do you serve we these? We do. These are uh, featured at our downtown location. You can ask from either location. And this is our Arizona Sunrise. Okay. And our Arizona Sunset. And you squeeze it in yeah, there. Yeah, we're going to squeeze some orange in each and you can just drop those in and same with the lime. Can you do this drink in, in 45 seconds? It depends on how thirsty you are. Yeah, we can okay. do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this one real quick. Okay, so we're going to do what's called the, uh, commonly known as the shandy gaff. Okay, and we're the gonna shandy be gaff. Shandy gaff, yeah, and so this is our Randy shandy and we're doing this as well. Should I open this? Sure. And okay. And this is our uh, this is our San Pellegrino, and we're gonna mix that with the Hefeweizen. So I'll let you do that one. And this is our Oak Creek Hefeweizen, local brewery. And get that open for you. Is it just mixing the two together? Yeah, you're gonna do half and half, so don't pour too much. Okay, what should you do first? Does you it matter? You do the beer first. You have a little bit of head on Ooh, there. Oh, this looks like it, it's orange. It is. So Hefeweizens are commonly uh, served with orange slice, and the orange San Pellegrino with that is a great, great mixture. Oh, my gosh. This is a total chick drink. <laughs> you could say that. Because you very add the delicious. beer and the juice, and it's yes. perfect. And this is our ginger beer mixed with um, the A1 lager. And this is also a great uh, summer drink during the day, not going to weigh you down. We garnish this with an orange slice or juice. Well, it sounds like people should go there just to try some yes, of these fun different absolutely. drinks. Absolutely. 
Okay, well, we are doing more fun stuff. We're uh, doing some refreshing things when we come back that involves tea. And, uh, wow, this looks really good.